In Africa, if you offer to shake an elderly person, he will slap you and you see. Next time you wake up from your dreams. Hello guys, and welcome to Business Ghana Me Today. Today, I am actually going to teach you some African, you know, cultural shocks that you might have never studied about Africa. And this runs throughout Ghanaian culture and probably some other African countries. And we are only going to handle how to greet in Africa. In Africa, the way we greet is different. You know other cultures, how they greet. Some cultures, they meet and then they kiss each other. That is uh, those in the Middle East. Yeah? Those in the Middle East, the Arabs. Huh? You can see men will be kissing men. You understand? They'll be kissing on the cheek. And those, those that is their culture. Don't bring that to Ghana. Hey, even if you are Muslim, don't try it. You go and see your... You, are, you see, you have seen, you have traveled to Saudi Arabia or where you go and learn the culture. They will greet each other and they will kiss. You bring it here. Go and kiss your father and see. <laughs> The father was slapping, you see, come kick cap for the guest here. Yeah. I naga. Uh -huh. So you know you need to study your environment. Huh? When you meet your sheikh, your sheikh already understand that and you also learn that. You can do that, you understand. Because Sheikh he has knowledge and he, and he has lived different, different places, he understands. But just remember, if you are coming to Ghana here, yeah, you when you are, you see your 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 chief. Okay, okay, you want to see your chief now because you have learned in the Middle East that where they when they are when they are greeting the they give peck at the cheek or those things, or they give peck on the forehead. They go and try to your chief and see. I'm a Marikagan, Kwantua. So now, but we also have other traditions where people uh, bow. Yeah, we, we know people who does it. The Indians, Indians, since they do this, right? Yeah, Indians do this. We greet. <laughs> you understand? That is their culture. Uh -huh, I'm not talking about that. And we also have some also who bend down. That is the Chinese. Yeah, the uh -huh. Chinese. And they, they, they bend down like this. But in Africa, it's different. You know, this cap I am wearing, I told you that there's meaning to this cap. I am deliberately wearing it like this. Huh? If you wear it like this, it is disrespectful. And you are trying to prove that you are somebody. I'm nobody. I'm only wearing it like this. So just take note. Mm -hmm. One day, I'll teach you everything about this cap. And you should know that when you're coming to Africa, there are a lot of things for you to learn. But with the African Ghanaian culture, how do we greet in Ghana? And who is supposed to greet who? Between the young and the elderly, who greets who first? Between the male and the female, how do they greet in African Ghanaian settings? How is it done? In Africa, when you come to Africa and a younger person meets an elderly person, who greets who first? It is the younger person that greets the elderly person. Good morning. You understand? It's the younger person that greets the elderly person. If you meet your father or you meet your elder brother, don't expect him to greet you. He'll just be looking at you. Especially you those from the diaspora. Uh -huh. you, you don't know this. So most Africans, they consider people, they really know you. Mm -hmm. They know that oh, you are not from Ghana. You are not from Af Africa. You are from somewhere. But immediately you stay here. They expect you to learn it and you adapt. So I'm teaching you this up front before you actually, you know, you know uh, uh, adapt. So those of you who want to learn this, this is where you need to stay. So if you're a younger person, you meet an elderly person. You will be the younger person. You have to greet the elderly person. That is good morning. And you have to have an innocent face. You understand? Like mine. You see that I'm innocent. Fine boy. <laughs> so you have to have an... Oh, daddy, good morning. You understand? Oh, daddy, I'm Oh, daddy, I'm um, Oh, that, uh, You understand? You greet... Oh, daddy, call Oh, daddy... Uh, Eh uh, eh uh, eh. Uh, uh, people, how do they greet? Good morning. Oh, good morning, eh. Yeah. Uh huh. But they often a good morning, eh. Yeah. You understand? That's how they greet. That's gun people. Uh huh. So the younger one that greets the elderly person, that is how younger people greet. Younger people greet according to, but the elderly people greet according from. You understand? Let me show you what I mean. If an elderly person meets a younger person, he doesn't greet him good morning. No. Elderly people are not supposed to greet younger people good morning. And they don't do it. You know how they greet the younger ones. They, they'll just meet you. Even if you don't greet him first, he can just say, Oh, James, how are you? You understand? That's how they greet. Oh, James, that's saying. You understand? They greet with authority. They ask me, How are you? <laughs> that means if you are not doing well, he can what? He can save you. He can help you. Uh, if you are hungry, he can help you. So elderly people don't greet uh, uh, younger ones. Oh, good morning. No. Good morning. Good. It, it, it is for you people. Uh, uh, 
elderly person greeting younger people like the younger person. Hey, kawa wa wa papa. That's a that's a when you are when you are trying to papa me chiao. What I say? Ah, elderly people don't greet younger people like that. They greet you with authority. How are you? How is school today, James? How are you? Like, like that. Hey, akosua, we want to say. It means how are you? Hey, no, 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 don't lie. Alafia, nago, nago, alafia. You know that's quite a cool people. And then, uh, this him, uh, yaku ke yaro, akunta shlafia de yamanku. That's how some people. So they greet with authority. How are you? How is your mother? How is this? You understand? Uh huh. So if an elderly person greets a younger one, he doesn't greet him according to. He greets him according from. From what? From authority. I gotta go. Uh huh. So you need to learn the two difference. The younger person greets elderly person according to having a kazo. Good morning. Good afternoon. Mina will say a good evening. Mimaju or mina dananga. Good evening. That's how younger people greet. However, the elderly people greet with authority. How are you? How was your work today? Like if you come from work. Hey, I do want to say, and I do want to call you a koye. Like that. Hey, I do want to call you a koye. I do want to call you a koye. How was your work today? How was your day today? That, that kind of thing. They greet with authority. So you need to learn the difference. That is it. The next thing is actually how they do the greetings. In most of the African traditions, we, we, we bend down to greet. We bend down to greet the elderly. So if I meet my uncle, I meet my father, I meet someone that I, I respect him, the, the first thing is I need to bend down and greet him. Uh -huh. You can't stand down along and you are greeting the elderly person. Uh -huh. he, he, you stand and greet him. You are out of the family like that. You understand? So you definitely need to bend small and greet the elderly. Some even go down, especially we those from the northern region. Uh -huh. If you don't bend and you stand there and you say, oh, good morning. He will, he, will, he will not even mind you. Some will not even mind you. Some will spread the news. Can you see this? Your son is disrespectful. He, he even stood and greeted me. Ah, you understand? So there's difference. So basically, you don't stand and greet an elder person. It's an abomination. You understand? You need to bend now. You understand? If it is uh, Kotokoli, hey, la, 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 la. We have some tribe that is called Kotokoli. Huh? That tribe, when they are, especially me, I'm, I'm one of them. That when we are greeting, you have to bend down. And we, we usually greet long journey. We greet, greet your father, your mother. We greet your sister. Your, we greet that. We can greet for like five minutes, ten minutes, and we are still greeting. Uh -huh. So basically, the most important thing is that the younger one has to squat to greet the elderly or bend down to greet the elderly. I hope you understand. Uh -huh. That runs throughout all the Ghanaian culture, whether it is Ki, Northern region, Dagomba, Gonja, Different tribes, all of them. When you are an, a younger person is greeting an elderly person, he does what? He greets, he, he, he squats to greet him. So don't come with from Europe and come and see an elderly person and say, What's up, daddy? What's up, how you doing? Daddy, how you doing? How you doing? You open poor as long as I kind of cry. You understand? Aha. Uh -huh. So if you are coming here, you need to learn these things. They are all traditions that you have to actually adapt and know what works and what doesn't work. Mm. So me, if I'm going to see someone, Respectfully, I do what I squat to greet them. That is according to the traditions of Africa. You know, but you know, uh, as Muslims, uh, we have our reservations. You understand? Muslim reservations. Now, uh, we I'll put that one aside. But if you're a Muslim, you should know that we have some reservations relating to squatting and greeting. You understand? Uh -huh. But naturally, our African tradition: eh, you forget down. You for do what? You forget down. Then do what? Then bend. Then greet your elderly person. Then how does an elderly person, does he also have to bend or squat to greet you? No! Elderly person is not supposed to squat to greet a kid. Elderly person is not supposed to, no. You understand? So if you are seated and an elderly person is coming and you want to greet him, you have to do what? You have to show like you are getting up. Eh? To some extent, you have to even get up and squat to greet him. And to some extent, you don't need, sometimes you don't need to get down. You just need to show like a, 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 a sign of what? Getting up. Oh, daddy, good morning. Oh, you understand? Oh, daddy, you understand? You, uh, 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 you, you understand what I mean? You have to show a sign of what? Not sitting comfortably. You can't see your father and then do this. Daddy, how are you? Daddy, good morning. You can't do that. How? how? You, are, you are out of the family. You are not... You, <laughs> you are out of the family. Who are you to, to sit and cross your leg and say you are good to your father? You cannot do that. Uh -huh. So in African tradition, there is two differences. A kid bends to greet the elderly while an elderly that's what he stands in authority 
to respond to the kid. If the elderly person is seated, he remains seated. You understand? If the elderly person is lying down, he remains lying down. Hmm? He remains lying down like this. And then he would ask what? Oh, how are you? How is your mom? Is your mom doing well? Uh huh. Yesterday night, we did, 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 did. You understand? Your mom, how was her business? How is she, how is she doing? Uh huh. So if, an, if a young kid in Africa wakes up every morning, he sees his father seated like this. What does he do? He comes to squat to greet his dad. And that is what actually happens in Africa here. You don't come and then you are lying down. Your father is coming. You are lying down. Your father is coming. That is good morning. Hey, my brother, you are out of the family. Now, you will not get the inheritance. You understand? Uh -huh. Now, let's go to another cultural shock. We have done with, you know, who greets first. And we have done with the etiquette or conduct when greeting male and female who are, how do they greet and who is supposed to greet who according to the african tradition especially with the Ghanaian settings huh, how they greet is different you understand a man can greet a woman a woman can greet a man but a woman and man do not shake hands because first of all shaking hands is for the peer huh? people of the same ages like you uh, co your co-equal uh, that you shake hands, your friends, you shake hands with your friend. Younger one is not supposed to shake hands with the elderly one. Unless the elderly offers to, uh, to shake hands with you, the younger one, then you can also remove your hand and do what? And shake. That one, no problem. But you, the elderly one, so younger one cannot offer to shake hands with the elderly one. You understand? Uh -huh. And people of the same category, the same age, they can offer to shake hands with each other. Do you understand that part too? Now, when it comes to shaking hands, uh, greetings between different genders, male and female. A man and a woman, can they shake hands and greet according to African tradition? No. According to African Ghanaian culture, all the tribes, over 40 tribes, nowhere eh, do male and female, they shake hands. No. It's forbidden. You can't shake hands with my wife. According to even our tradition, forget about religion. You can't shake my wife. I can't shake your wife. Simple. <laughs> you understand? The women can shake hands with each other. They can hug each other. They can... It's okay. You understand? Men can also shake hands with each other, hug each other, no problem. But crossing gender, no. According to our tradition, no. Ah, but you now, you know, even all the Ghanaians, you know. When did you see you, your mother hugging someone's husband? No. It's not done. That's not our tradition. It is recently that this education, education has come foreign culture have come to intrude our, you know, our, our living. So it doesn't exist. It never existed and it never existed. And even till date, even till date, it's not done. It is our education children who have come, university children, huh? SHS students, they, they, they go and they meet. Then if a man, and this corporate world, the corporate world too, uh, if a man refuses to shake hands with a the woman, then it becomes a crime. At first, it didn't used to be like that. Men don't go around shaking women. And women don't go around shaking men. You can go and check your traditional uh, 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 chiefs. Go and ask them and see whether it is done. It's not done. You understand? The worst, eh? The worst a man greets a woman is when a woman comes to bend to greet a man. Then he uses his either stick to say, "Oh, thank you," to, to to tap at a woman's back. That's a chief or an elderly person does that. You understand? Or you know, a, a queen mother. Can do that to a man who bows to him, to her. You understand? So that, that did it. Or that she uses the tail of a, a a cow tail or an animal tail to bum the person. That one fine. You know that is the traditions. Uh huh. But say you go and then you hug someone's wife, you shake her. No, it's not our tradition. You know? So when you people from the diaspora you come here, don't try to force us to be like you. Try to understand that this is how our life is, and leave us where you where you met us. Leave us where you met us. So me, if, if I'm meeting an African-American and I don't shake you, please don't take offense. So our tradition, uh, our African tradition, we don't shake women. Me, I won't shake you. You understand? Ah. And I know, I know most of you are very tempted. You come and tempt me. You come and do this. Oh, Sina, how are you? Sina? I will shake you. I beg you. Don't take offense. Ah. And then, um, you know, it's something you just need to understand. That is who we are. Forget about religion, no. I know even religiously, religiously is wrong to men to shake hands with women, especially the Muslim religion, eh? Islamic religion. Man shaking hands with women is forbidden, unless they are close relatives, they are wife, they are daughters, fine, you understand. 
Uh -huh. But your uncle's daughter's daughter, no, you can't shake hands with her because you can easily you can marry her. So if you can marry her, it's not allowed. Huh? Uh -huh. So <clears throat> that is a, and it's a sign of respect. It's not like you are saying she's dirty or you are dirty. No, it's just a sign of respect and way of conduct, you understand, which has to be followed to promote peace and cultural, multicultural existence with love and civility. So guys, this is actually three or four cultural shocks that I just shared with you. The last one you just need to know is that when you are living as an African-American, you come and you are staying as a neighbor with an African and he knocks your door one day in the morning. Please don't take offense. In Africa here, yeah, we will check up on each other. You understand? We check up on each other. When we do, I don't see you for 24 hours, I don't see you sometime, I'll come and knock. Oh, Jack, is this person there at all? I don't need to call you. <laughs> I don't need to call you. I'll come and check. How are you? You understand? Uh -huh. To find out if everything is going on well. And this small little kind of you know, uh, 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 kindness has helped a lot of people. Sometimes I know one brother, he's very close to me. He's been in his, he died in his room. He's died in his room for like 48 hours. Nobody knew that he was dead. He was just in his room. Yes, very close brother. I've been in a lot of program with him. They were calling him that he wasn't going. People thought he was not around. People thought he traveled. So it took some time before when they went to check his door was locked inside and when they forced the open he was dead in, inside so imagine that he lived in a home where everybody checks on each other 24 hours every morning evening people are checking on each other you think that this would have lasted that long you understand so in africa one of the cultural shocks is that we knock at the doors of each other's houses or rooms to ask how we are doing so if you come here you are people are doing i don't think they are intruding you no it's just our way of life we check up on each other we try to help each other uh-huh so you're yeah, welcome to business ganami tv here yeah, i share with you a lot of things you never learn them anywhere and if this is your first time you tell your friend tell your brother tell your sister tell your daughters and your boys to come and subscribe to this channel because here is where we share value and not nonsense talks <laughs> understand and don't forget if you want to buy a land in Ghana, you want to buy a house in Ghana, just check in the description of the video. You get my number, you reach me. If you also want someone to handle your building project, we have a trusted real estate company that does that. Just check in the description of the, uh, this video. You get number, my number and reach me. Yeah, welcome to Business Ghana Me TV. And my name is Imro Sadat. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Imro Sadat. Subscribe. Subscribe. Business Ghana Me TV. Thank you. Thank you.